Hi there, this is a step-by-step -step guide on how to share your Google Calendar. I'm gonna show you four different ways to share your Google Calendar with full access permissions, with limited access permissions, as a public Google Calendar URL, and as a snapshot. Depending on who you're sharing your calendar with, why you're sharing it, what you're using it for, you'll be able to pick the best method for you. So to start, let's share our calendar with full access permissions. Step one is going to be going to your calendar, clicking the three dot menu next to the calendar you'd like to share, clicking settings and sharing, scrolling down the page until you see share with specific people or groups, clicking the add people button, and then typing in the name of the person you'd like to share with. From here, change the access permission to make changes and manage sharing. And now you've given someone full access to your calendar. When you give someone make, change, make changes and manage sharing permission, that allows them to create events, edit events, view events, see private events, and even do things like delete the calendar. So this is really the full permission version of sharing a calendar. The next version of sharing your calendar is going to be with limited access permissions. The steps are very similar, but here you have to decide whether or not you'd wanna give people the ability to see what the actual details of events on your calendar look like. If you do want them to see all event details, if they should be able to see private events as well, and whether or not you want to give them access to make changes to events. Once you've decided which level of permission you want to give someone, the steps are pretty much the same as the previous step. Go to your calendar, click on the three dot menu next to the name of the calendar, scroll down the page to share with specific people or groups, click add people, type in the name of the person you'd like to share it with, and then set the level of permission you'd like to give them. From there, in both of these scenarios, the person who you've shared your calendar with will get an email. Once they accept it, they'll be able to see your calendar within their Google Calendar app. Next is sharing your calendar as a public Google Calendar. There's a lot of public calendars where, for example, a community like the Reddit AMA community manages a calendar so that everyone can go and see events that are coming up soon. If you wanna turn your calendar into a public calendar, here's what you do. Go to your calendar, click on settings and sharing, scroll down to where it says make available to public and check the box. This will pop up a warning saying that making your calendar public is going to make all events visible to the world, including via search. So be sure if you wanna do this option and then click okay. After you've made the calendar available publicly, don't use the shareable link here. Scroll further down the page to where it has, where it says integrate calendar. And here there is a public URL. If you copy and paste this URL to your clipboard, you can paste it into a new browser window and see this is what someone would see if you share that public calendar URL with them. This is the only native way to share your Google Calendar with someone who doesn't have Google Calendar and it requires you to make your entire calendar public. If you wanna share specific views of your calendar, you might wanna use Plus to take a snapshot. Here's how you use Plus to take a snapshot of your Google Calendar and then share it and embed it in the tools that you use every day. First, open up your Google Calendar click on the plus browser extension and press the button for take snapshot. From here, just draw a box around the area of the screen that you care about. It should feel just like taking a normal system screenshot. Name your snapshot and then copy the link to your snapshot. I'll open another browser window here so that you can see what happens if I send this link to somebody else. They'll be able to see my normal Google Calendar weekly view or whatever other view of my calendar I'd like to share, whether that's daily or monthly. So finally, if you're looking to share Google Calendar with someone who doesn't have a Google Calendar account, the two best ways to share are either to create a public calendar link or to use a plus snapshot. Here's a quick comparison of what those two things look like. On the left, this is what it looks like when you receive a public calendar link to a Google Calendar. And over here on the right, this is what it looks like to share a plus snapshot. There are a bunch of different ways to share your Google Calendar and depending on who you're sharing your calendar with and what you're sharing it for, hopefully this video gives you an idea of the different ways you can do it. 
If you are going to share specific views of your calendar and you want to have more control over what the recipient sees, you might want to try out Plus. And also if you use Plus, you can do some other cool stuff like building personal productivity dashboards and embed your calendar in other apps as well. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.